Hello everyone, this is Nikos, and in today's video we're going to be looking at two little tricks that uh, I've been using on Helium 10. So Helium 10 is the software that I've been using in order to scale my private label Amazon business. And uh, yeah, we're going to be showing straight away two skills that I use uh, day in and day out when I'm sourcing for Amazon products. So let's have a look. So straight away here, okay, what we're going to go through is similar to the previous video that we had, we talked about uh, different coffee pods. Uh, we've got here a product which potentially can have more than more usability. You could have in different storage spaces around the house. And what we're going to do is one of the biggest ones here. I mean, looking at this product, one of the big things I would do is I'd make sure that looks nice and tidy. So this would potentially leads lead even sorry to loss of sales because look how untidy it looks like uh, at the background they should have had a cleaner picture or even not even have to have them the the packaging is not needed why is it taking uh five or six images but anyways so we're going to go through here today is looking at um little tricks so one of the biggest tricks that you can have on amazon so say for example you wanted this product you want to bring it over and what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the profitability calculator now obviously we don't know what the manufacturing cost is we do not know what the per cubic meter price would be at the moment in time but we can find out all these and then we can rearrange this in order to figure out if it's going to be profitable or not for us so say you've made a decision and i want this as mentioned the margin that i'm after is 30 percent at the moment in time we've got minus 29.48 percent so really this isn't something that it could work for us but let's have a look uh if we wanted to make it work now one of the big things we can do is let's have a look so under sync storage shelf organizer let's put this keywords for us so we're going to have that and look at these keywords, that keywords under the sink store itself. That's what we've put potentially not the highest keyword for it, but that's what we've put for us. And we are going to launch X-Ray. We've got total revenue of 159,000. And believe me, this definitely isn't the ideal keyword for this category, but we've used that now. So we're going to filter. One of the first things we want to do is we want to filter the sponsored listings. We want to find out the organic sales, really. And this is what we've got at the moment in time for these items. And is this the one that we had earlier? Yeah, so you can see it in Y. So they are ranking quite nicely, even with that horrible image really for us. And um, apologies, again, I'll need to run X-ray because we've gone backwards. So filter, hide sponsor listings, apply. And one of the big things that we've got is find suppliers on alibaba so what they can do is you can find straight away uh, a supplier on alibaba that's selling a similar product to these so let's have a look at what we want i mean you can see how already we're very very similar for us we can see the pricing really so let's have a look at this one here on alibaba so store itself <laughs> i mean it is exactly the same item pretty much let's have a look at the other one so we are here so it looks like uh, in fact we could make it oh so we've got the four hoops the two cups and oh, we've got the same here four hoops one hanging cup so they've created a bit of a variation here from alibaba thinking i can add a few extra things potentially on it but say we've got uh, the price for 300 piece okay being three pounds so at the moment in time so we're going to click on that we are going to go profitability calculator. Manufacturing cost is three. Per cubic meter at the moment in time, the price is um the price with uh, westbound is 165 per cubic meter. Only reason I know off the top of my head is because I received the email literally yesterday. So 165 is FOB. So let's say let's put 185 to cover also the cost um or clearing that out in China, let's say, for example, and everything. So at the moment in time, we can see, unfortunately, the margin is quite low. Now, um, this wouldn't simply wouldn't be something that I'd be picking up for myself. You can see how we can change the width and the length and the height. Now, these matter massively because let's have a look. Say what we put this to 48. Look at this change automatically to small oversize. So it's really, really important for you to be playing around with these um, convention these measurements you might find that you automatically save 
what, potentially 50, 60 pence. That makes a difference in the margin. So if we put 48, look how much more expensive it became for us to post this out to customers. So yeah, very, very important for us to be make, to make sure that we've got the measurements from the supplier so we can check the profitability calculator and trying to get as close as possible to that 30% margin because afterwards, realistically, we're going to be getting close to 2025 20, with advertising. So this is, for me, the first tip on using Helium 10. The second one is something that has changed massively for me and that is their review count. So speaking also about Helium 10, at the moment in time, they've got an offer for 35% off and I've got the link below in the description for yourselves in order for you to get that 35% off. If you're watching this uh, a month or two after, um, the offer that we've got is if you put my discount code and get up to 20% off. So yeah, both link below in the description for yourselves. So one of my favorite tools is the follow-up, the follow-up automation tool. Now for me, it is potentially something that's changed the business massively. Um, we have a lot of reviews being sent automatically. I mean, look at this. We've got 180 reviews automatically asked from the 9th of April to the 16th. So that's a period of just one week uh, for us. Now, um, what I've done is I've automatically set it in order to request a review seven days after my brand has been delivered. So what I've done is I've literally put the keyword uh, of my trademark, of my brand name, and then Helium 10 picks it up. And as soon as something's been dispatched, delivered after seven days, it sends a request to the customer to request a review for the product. You can also have it request a review for you as a seller. So if you're a brand new seller and you want to get a bit of feedback, you can do that too. Now, um, obviously, sending the messages is amazing. What you also need is the customer to reply to that um, review. but I'm getting reviews where I wouldn't be getting it. And all I had to do is literally six, seven months ago, set up the follow-up actions and put my trademark in. And every single time that my keyword being the trademark uh, pops up, they send an email for it. So yeah, that for me is the second tip that I've been using, a little trick that I've been using with Helium 10 in order to grow my business. As mentioned is... Helium 10 is something that I log in every day to check my profit. Helium 10 is something that I check every day to see the profitability for items that I could be bringing over. Um, another tip also too, I've made sure that I've set it up in order to see if I've got any hijackers on my listings. It's as simple as uh, tracking a product and saying if you get more than one sellers, you get an email and then you can just... Uh, destroy the competition and uh, destroy anyone that jumps on your listing. But yeah, it's been something that I've been using every day for the last, I would say last year, and is a very, very important part of my Amazon business. So if you enjoyed this video, if you can leave a like, that'd be amazing. If you subscribe, even better. And as mentioned, if you're watching this video now, we've got 35% off Helium 10. Or if you're watching this in a couple of months in advance, you've got 20% off Helium 10 with the code below. So thanks so much for watching, everyone.